Ladies and gentlemen, I just received my Echo Call and I am super excited to open it. Let's check it out. I'm super pumped. This is an Arkansas style call from Echo. I'm using a uh, double reed zinc power hand right now. This is the Echo and that's a double reed and this is a single so I've heard it's a big transition from a double to single. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to entail, but I'm going to hope to walk you with you guys through this process. I'm going to have some guys hopefully coaching me on how to use this kind of call. So let's see, let's see what I got right now. side of that is the echo pure meat and I'll be walking to you guys through the learning process of using this call I'm hoping to get together with uh, Jake and Elliot and then hopefully get some pointers and stuff on using a single read I don't think I sound that bad but I'm sure there's room for improvement I don't really have a musical ear I'm not really gifted in that it's hard for me to sing and clap in church it's like one or the other man so a good way to practice is while you're driving Especially when you're driving to and from hunts, that's a good time to practice because you kind of got, you know, in your mind how the hunt went and maybe how certain passes you could have improved upon and stuff as far as calling. I always like to start, especially since I'm still getting the hang of the hot air, I always like to start uh, just blowing in the back of the call. <laughs> over and um, one thing I heard from a very experienced duck hunter Jake is that you always want to call like with you know the read and tone, tone board you know facing up and you want to call that way all the time I feel like even the past three days I've made quite a bit improvement. I uh, definitely need a lot more practice, but I feel like it's come along pretty well and I can't I'm excited just to make the stretch the switch straight to this uh, the Echo Pure Meat single read. <laughs> I gotta say, I really thought I was getting the hang of this Echo Duck call. A Marco Polo Jake, me calling today, and I thought, you know, I thought I was just laying it out there. And, you know, I thought, you know, oh, it hasn't taken me too long, I've got it. Turns out I don't, I don't got it yet. And I'm still working on it. I guess I've been too high pitched, and I just need more pressurized hot air. think like that's too too high there's not enough like rumble deep rumble in there got a ways to go a couple weeks till big duck season here I've got time to learn I'm gonna keep putting the practice in every day every day is what it's gonna take one thing though is like man if I wouldn't have Jake chasing green helping me man, I would have no idea absolutely zero idea I would still be on the grunt I'd still be going <laughs> so I'm truly a recovering gruntaholic as far as duck calling that I've kind of got into duck hunting and talked to him about calling stuff you know I've told him that you know it's the <laughs> but it's definitely not like I'm even I don't even want to do that right now because I'm like I'm training my muscles to not do that so I'm truly a recovering gruntaholic. Just gonna keep at her. Practice and practice and practice. I mean, there's been walls that I've crossed that seems like I, you know, I hit a wall, I'm at the base of that wall a little bit, 
and I'm finally able to make make the change. But I thought this wall was gonna be one of the last walls. Turns out it's not. I still got a ways to go, but that's okay. Hey, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Practice, man. You gotta be, get that practicing in every day. Don't be slacking. One thing I'm struggling with right now is kind of got a high crack. It's kind of high, so I'm trying to bring it down. See, that one was high. done a lot of practicing a lot of work to get the grunt out of my mallet call and Jake's given me a lot of coaching it's taken every day and it's been four or five months and I feel like I finally have a good mallet call and I've been able to use it out in the field and have some success I really think the hard work has finally paid off and the reward has been really awesome That was a nice group. <laughs> that was a nice group. That we was waited. the biggest group I think I've ever seen called. That was. That's why we wait. Yes. <laughs> This is what duck hunting is all about, this, these kind of days. Today is about as good as it gets. Super ducky. Walked across a Midwest ocean to shoot 10 green and two pintails. It's December now. I've been practicing with this Echo for four or five months. It's added a lot of value into my hunts. And it's been a big transition. You know, I spent a lot of days practicing in the truck, just in the field, annoying my neighbors. You know, I go out on the back deck, I call once, and you know, the whole neighborhood erupts with dogs barking at me. And there's three tips I'd like to impart. One, it's pressurized hot air. Any advice I would give would just be, you know, don't grunt into the call, don't say anything into the call. It's about the pressurized hot air. And you, you saw me practice that when I was in the truck just blowing into the back of the call. Two is practice. I mean, you got to practice a lot. Like, I, it took me four or five months to get where I am now. I'm like, shoot, you know, I'm not perfect now. I'm just good enough to feel confident in calling and killing ducks now. And then three, would I would recommend finding somebody that's a mature duck hunter that you can ask questions, be like, hey, 
This is what I sound like. What do I need to do differently? Please critique me and, you know, take their advice. And there's, there was times when, you know, I thought I had it down. <laughs> and Jake, you know, I would call Jake and be like, oh, this is what I sound like. And he's like, yeah, buddy, you know, uh, you need to do this. <laughs> and so it was, it was a big learning curve. And I'm hooked on the echoes. I love it. I love sounding like a southern duck hunter, I guess. <laughs> and it makes me feel like I've kind of matured um, in like the path of duck hunting. My favorite part about duck hunting is calling ducks and having them respond feet down because you told them to come here. <laughs> you know, Elliot and I had a really good hunt uh, a couple weeks ago where it was just like, it seemed every duck I would call at would respond like positively in some way. That's what you wanted right oh, there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was epic shooting, man. That was epic. There's like, I called, body language changed. All right, we're coming to at least check you out. That's what duck hunting is all about to me, is, is the response that you can get from the ducks. I'm already thinking about the next echo I'm gonna get. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was informative. I will see you soon.